Video 8 is entitled Adjusting the Accounts at the End of the Period. You'll recall from Video 7 where the bike company actually began its operations for the month. You remember that it first secured its financing of $250,000, then it had several startup costs, and then finally it made its first sale selling 10 bikes at $30,000 each. The ending balance in cash, therefore, was $86,600. However, building prepaid rent uh, and inventory, and maybe even notes payable, need to be adjusted to determine how many of these assets may have been used up this period. And we may need to ask ourselves, are there any liabilities that haven't been reflected in our database? So, with this, we're going to uh, take this period, we're going to take the balances at the end of the month, and we're going to call these unadjusted balances on, let's call it July, uh, July 31, the end of the month. And we'll start with cash, and the unadjusted balance was 86600 Building was 180000 Prepaid rent was 2400 Inventory, we sold all of the inventory, so we don't have to adjust that. We have our loan payable to the bank equal to 210000 We have the equity contributed by the owner of 40000 And our equity earned Let's go back to the previous uh, um, equation here. And our equity earned, you remember, had three changes in it. We had 1,000 reduction for advertising, 10,000 reduction for cost of goods sold, plus the 30,000 in revenue. So 30,000 minus 11,000 gives you the $19,000 equity right there. And of course, if you added up all of your assets, and then compared it with your liabilities and equity, all of your assets would have to equal your liabilities and equity, and they do in this case. Okay, this lesson requires us to look at each account in our uh, list of accounts and ask, that building, did, it, uh, did we use it this period? Did it go down in value a little bit because of the sun and the wear and tear? Well. When you write down a long-term asset for usage, the accounting term to reflect the write-down of a long-term asset is called depreciation. So we're going to subtract, let's subtract $500 to show how much the value, uh, the accounting value may have gone down for the building. And let's subtract $500 from equity earned. And we're going to call this depreciation expense. Okay, now where did I get $500? Well, Let's assume that building, which costs us $180,000, is going to be used for 30 years. And we're looking at a monthly set of financials. So 30 years times 12 is 360. So if you take your calculator, 180,000 divided by 360 gives you this $500. So this is called adjusting journal entry number one. Notice if you subtract 500 from the left-hand side of the accounting equation, you got to subtract 500 from the other side in order to balance, which we do. The next question is, what about prepaid rent? Remember, we bought 12 months worth of rent, 12 months, at $200 a month. So our monthly rent is $2,400, but we paid $2,400 in advance. Now that the month of July has gone by, we got to show that one twelfth of that prepaid rent has now become an expense. It's like an expired cost. The cost of rent was twenty four hundred, but now that two hundred of it has expired, it becomes part of our reduction in equity earned, and we're going to call this rent expense. Next, we ask ourselves: since inventory, we have nothing in the shop now. We don't need to adjust inventory. Let's ask, if we borrowed $210,000 from the bank, I bet you the bank requires that we pay them interest eventually. But if we don't pay it at the end of this period, we must accrue it 
meaning we'll take the amount we borrowed times the bank's interest rate, which we'll assume is 10%. That's 21,000 for the year of interest, 21,000. One month has gone by, so 21,000 divided by 12 equals 1750. So let's add 1750 to the amount we owe on the loan and let's subtract 1750 from equity earned. This is known as interest expense. So after we've adjusted all of our accounts, building, prepaid rent, inventory, loan payable, no adjustment to equity earned, but we did make some adjustments to, equ uh, to equity contributed, we have adjusted equity earned, we can now make sure we balance by adding up all of our assets. Cash, of course, hasn't changed. Building has dropped down to 179.5. Rent is now 2200. We have no inventory. The amount we owe the bank is now 211,750. The amount of equity contributed is still 40, and equity earned now is 19,000 less 2450. 19,000 less 2450, the sum of these three expenses, gives us 16,550. In our next lesson, we're going to take our database here and we're going to make a nice looking financial statement called the balance sheet, which comes from all numbers in the bottom row here at the end of July, on July 31, our balances after adjustment, after a JAEs on July 31, will become the basis for our first main financial statement.